All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Coldwell Bankers Real Estate Market Update. My man, Chad Loomis. Hey, JK. All right, we're back at you, and Chad, I've got insulated pants on. Why is that? Because it's the end <laughs> of May. Why would you not have insulated pants on? Because it's 39 degrees Can out there. that? No, that's <laughs> solid right there. Solid as a rock. <laughs> Dude, it is cold. It was yeah. snowing out this morning. Yeah. It's rainy. It's wet. Yeah. I tell you, I was in the ice bath this morning. I was in our chili dip. It was literally warmer in the chili dip than it was outside. So I stayed in a few extra minutes because it was warmer inside the chili dip. That's how cold it's been. It's awesome. No, it's yeah. not awesome, but thank you for saying that. Uh, all right, so speaking of, I'll tell you, like, what's going on? Is the is the uh, market cold or is it warming up? It is warm. It is. Just warm. Warm. Luke warm. Luke warm. Okay, bath at least water. Over, at least over this last week. Bath water warm? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, you want to give local? You want to go national? Let's go national. National. Okay, well, it is kind of warm. I would say it's warm in the sense of the fact that the trend now for like the fourth week in a row is that we're starting to see um, more price homes or, or more homes price adjustments. Uh, we're up to 34.4% of the active inventory across the nation is now having price adjustments. So what does that say? It sounds like we're kind of flattening in that market, which is great for buyers, yeah. more inventory, and really important for sellers to make sure that they're priced right when they hit the market. Yeah, because we were at 33.7 last week, right? Yep. So yep. we've seen a continuous increase price. every week, right? Yep, that's exactly right. Or if you look at the graph, what it is is more like a dip. It actually goes down like this yeah. Yeah. because more homes are starting to actually adjust those prices. You know, about three weeks ago, we talked about the medium sales price of a home that's active on the market was 440,000. Right. But the medium sales price of a home that's under contract was 400,000. So a big, big gap in between active, active and, and sold. And we're starting to actually narrow that gap. So that's actually good news for all the buyers out there because we're also going to talk a little bit about what's going on with the affordability factor. And it's not just about interest rates. Nope. No. So yeah. do you want to go first? You, go, you do yours yeah. and then I'll finish okay. up with mine. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So here in the local market, uh, last week was pretty big uh, jump in pending sales. This week it st is steady, uh, which is good. We're at, uh, dropped only three pending sales. We're down to 179 overall. Uh, the 115 to 215 range uh, dropped one. We're down to 23 in that sector. The 215, the 315 range, which was no, it didn't do so great last week, did better. Was the the big sector this week? Okay, uh, an increase of five. The 315 to five had an increase of one. We're up to 45 there, and the 500 plus range is we dropped three. So we did. we're down to 31. So oh, and active listings, of course, um, we're, we only had about an increase of three. So. Okay, so let's talk about affordability factors right now because we've been putting a lot of blame on interest rates. Yeah. And what we're seeing out there right now, it's not just about interest rates right now. We're actually seeing interest rates kind of fluctuating down a little bit. So that's great, a little you know, uh, below 7%, which is awesome. But what's really putting an impact on affordability factors is uh, the taxes. We've seen a lot of increases in taxes, property taxes. You probably got your they tax bill, bill yeah. right? Your revised bill, you're probably just stressing out, want to tear that thing up, it's not gonna go away. Uh, but then also insurance. And that has been a huge uh, issue uh, across the nation with insurance. If you think about all of the natural disasters that are happening, surprisingly enough, and I've always heard that the state of Wyoming is actually really good. It's always been profitable uh, when it comes to insurance companies, and that's why they love me in here. Wyoming got hit one of the hardest last year because of all the hail storms. Right. And so that's increasing your premium as well too. We also know that a lot of national companies are starting to get out of states. They're completely removing themselves from certain states. So California, Florida, Texas, um, and then uh, like uh, Colorado, and even now Wyoming is starting to see less and less opportunities from some of these national insurance companies. So. That's going to be something that we're going to keep an eye on here in the future and see what happens because those are things that you just can't control. Yeah, I've seen some of those insurance quotes on my uh, sellers or, or buyer, excuse me, buyer HUD statements, and I'm like, what? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how much they've gone up over the last year. Yeah, well, yeah. insurance companies are not in the business to lose money, they so uh, they're always always making sure that there's some profit. So. Anyway, so be, be thinking about that, be aware of that, but we're here as, co as always to help you out as you're looking at buying or selling that property. You know who to call, the Loomis team, of course, and any Cobalt Banker agent. Absolutely. You know, of course, the Castle <laughs> and Buffalo share, right, primarily. So, 
Uh, that's what we got for you this week. Anything else? No, I'm good. Sorry. Okay. Have an awesome week. Enjoy a hey, Memorial Day weekend's coming up. Enjoy that long extended weekend. And we'll look forward to giving you some statistics next week.